They died on holiday more than eight years ago. Last week, a coroner ruled Christy and Bobby Shepherd were unlawfully killed. Today, their parents finally got an apology, privately and face to face, from the boss of Thomas Cook. Nothing can give us back our children or the carefree lives we once led. No one can erase the lifelong pain for Christy and Bobby's family and friends. We cannot change the past and we accept that it may be time to look to the future. Christy and Bobby's parents have asked Thomas Cook to help tear down Bungalow 112 on this complex in Corfu. In 2006, while the children slept there, deadly carbon monoxide leaked into their room. It came from this boiler. It was fitted with a safety cut-off, but that had been disabled to keep it running. The hotel's Greek owner was jailed in 2010, but at this month's inquest in Wakefield, Thomas Cook's management repeatedly refused to apologise for what had happened. Today, for the first time in this tragedy, Thomas Cook have done the right thing. They listened to the heartbreaking accounts from my clients and heard how their company effectively destroyed their lives. It didn't come quickly, but today Christy and Bobby's parents got what they've waited so long for. Now they've requested the management build a playground at the spot their children died.